discrete fourier transform is a mathematical process which is used for the conversion of a signal from time domain into frequency domain it is a finite duration discrete frequency sequence which is obtained by sampling one period of frequency transform if the sampling is done at an equally spaced point or the period of omega is equal to 0 up to omega is equal to 2 pi the mathematical expression for the discrete fourier transform it is given by this equation a it indicates x of k is equal to summation running from n is equal to 0 up to n minus 1 x of n e raised to minus d 2 pi n k divided by n so here x of n that is the discrete sequence and its discrete fourier transform it is given by x of k here the value of k it runs from 0 up to n minus 1 since this is the summation which is taken for the n points Hence, it is also called as an endpoint DFT. Similarly, we can obtain discrete sequence x of n from its DFT, which is called as the inverse discrete Fourier transform. So, the IDFT of x of n, it is given by the equation x of n is equal to 1 upon n summation from k is equal to 0 up to n minus 1 x of k e raised to j. 2 pi n k divided by n so here x of n that is the discrete sequence which is obtained from the dft of that sequence so this is the inverse process of the dft so that's why it is called as the idft that is inverse fourier inverse discrete fourier transform let us see the term twiddle factor in previous equation of the DFT, we were having a term that is e raised to minus j 2 pi by n. So this term it is called as the twiddle factor which is denoted by wn. The twiddle factor makes the computation of a DFT a little bit easy. Using twiddle factor, we can write the equation of a DFT and the IDFT as follows. So here we have written the first equation of a DFT by using the twiddle factor similarly we can also write the equation for the idft where the exponent term we are replacing it with the wn that is the twiddle factor here also the n it runs from 0 1 2 up to n minus 1 let us see the linear transformation here let us view the DFT and the IDFT as the linear transformation on a sequence x of n and x of k respectively. Let us define the endpoint vector x of n of the frequency sample and wn that is the n by n matrix which is called as the transformation matrix over here. With this definition the endpoint DFT may be expressed in the matrix form as x of n is equal to wn into x of n. So here the wn that is the transformation matrix, x of n that is the input sequence and the x of capital N that is actually the DFT of the sequence. Here the wn is the matrix of the linear transformation where the wn is the symmet symmetric matrix. If we can assume that inverse of wn exists then the last expression can be inverted by pre-multiplying both the sides by the wn raised to minus 1 thus we can obtain x of n is equal to wn raised to minus 1 into x of n but this is a just expression of the idft in fact idft can be expressed in the matrix form as under that is x of n is equal to 1 upon n wn into star into xn so here this term it is nothing but the complex conjugate of the matrix wn so like this way dft and idft are the computational tool that play a very important role in the many digital signal processing applications these applications are frequency analysis spectrum analysis of the signal 
power spectrum estimation and linear filtering. The importance of the DFT and the IDFT in such a practical application is due to large extent on the existence of the computationality efficiency. Thank you.